much as I vlogged yesterday about this, guys, look at this. McDonald's is reopened again. Look. I'll take it across here. I'll take it a second. Let's go across here. Let me show you. Look. It's reopened again. Hello, Sandra. Just back again for a wee walk today. Hiya. My God, look at this. <laughs> what do you think of this? No, I'm not, I'm not that desperate for a burger. No, no. Tell me about it. Unbelievable. Well, it's not crazy. Let the uh, chaos begin at McDonald's. But anyway, welcome back to the video. Once again, today is now Tuesday. Comes to the last video from yesterday where we were showing McDonald's. Um, it's a bit of an interesting one. We were showing McDonald's's obstacle course, should we say, outside. Um, and the video was called McDonald's is Reopening. If you want to check out that video, the link's in the description below. But today is Tuesday, but I am with Mrs. Prim. She's come around for an RV walk today. Hello. Or we social distance and walk today. With this guy's referred out nice wee dander here today. So we are just another lovely day. It's not as warm, but it is nice. So yeah, let the chaos begin. McDonald's reopens. Unbelievable. I'll never rushing to get there. Like. But here's Sandra. I was saying that yesterday the Brooklyn Lewis maybe put the boy like, make like a wee false car or something. Yeah. Alright, was I talking to you or when you were saying about getting like your wee granddaughters? Oh the tightest car. A wee plastic car. Yeah. And sitting in the dry, <laughs> dry food. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a kid in my street. You can't see him when we, uh, walking through later on. He had one of them, what do you call them, boogie board things, but he's turned it in like a wee car thing. Yeah. I'm going to get him put a box over my head and do that. I could do that. And pretend to just sit in the drive through and go, hi, yeah, this is my car. <laughs> Not really. I would leave in a week because it'll probably take you about a week. week to get through the drive through Five hours. I know, I know, it's crazy. All right, guys, this we're set for a nice wee afternoon stroll, Sandra and I, for an hour, to get her head short from the monsters. And obviously, for to get out and do a bit of exercise, which is good. So, uh, yeah, I hope you're all keeping safe and doing well out there, guys. Thank you once again for all your positive comments. Plus, today, Sandra, it's Blackout Tuesday. So it is. I searched off on my social media face today in relation to that terrible incident that happened in America with that gentleman, which is insane. Um, but yeah, we're just going to head off here and go for a nice wee stroll, so get her head sharp for an hour. So anyway, let's get this Tuesday started. If you're going to McDonald's, I have a pack of, pack of suitcases and stay there for a week. <laughs> Spot as Ikea. Yesterday Ikea opened up in Belfast. That was the queues where the people were camping outside from the night before. It's insane, they think we've never seen the store before. Anyway, let's go here with this road before they go. The roads are picking up right again now, aren't they? been so quiet for so long. They are so. But anyway, time to go for a nice dander. Let's get this Tuesday's vlog started, guys. It's kind of weird walking around here. I've been around here for years. I used to live right, literally right to the left, right down to the bottom of the road. Take another left. And then into the right, where I used to live. What do you call this? Cranley, Cranley Muse or Cranley Road? So, oh, there's in there. <laughs> Show, so distant. Keep your distance. Guys, doesn't she look very pretty today? She's wearing a lovely wee dress today. She looks lovely. Pretty freaking sweaty. It is warm though, isn't it? Like, it sucks. Right, what? Go to the right. Go to the left. No, because then we're going back on ourselves. No, we said we'd walk down through Ashbury, right up, up towards the Robinson Road. That's right. No, that's this way. Why do we look as if we've walked through the road? If we had to walk down the cars way and walk down that way, we'd have ended up here anyway. Uh, yeah, you see. So, she's lost in tracks. She's, uh, she's like an old fashioned timer. She needs a map. Just stopped off for some lunch now. So, we are, we're having chicken and salmon wraps. So we are, and what crisps we'll have them? Mini cheddars. <laughs> but yeah, we're stopped we're walking through Asprey guys, right behind the shops, and we're walking around this wee area that we, we both used to hang around whenever we were kids. Um, I used to walk from one end of Bangor to the other up here on weekends to see my friends and stuff who used to live up here. And you used to live around here, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, I used to come up here quite a lot. I actually lived up not too far from here as well. Um, whenever I used to live with Brooklyn Lewis's mum. So 2013 anyway, the way from Ashbury. But we're just sitting in this lovely wee area here and it's lovely. It doesn't look much, but it's nice. I'll show you now. 
pretty safe. It used to be a big field. It used to all just be fields, but they've turned it into like a wee pathway and all now, which is great. Obviously they have a river over there, it runs across there, and the pathway used to run behind the shops. Remember we were saying earlier on, we used to walk down there, and there was like no mobile phones back in those days for lights, and it was pure dark. Yeah. I always remember as well, we used to walk up there on a Friday and Saturday night with your friends, like coming back from a friend's house, we used to have the police coming down all the time, mm -hmm. looking for teenagers under his drinking and stuff like that. But I don't know why they're still doing it or not, like, but it has changed a wee bit up here. Obviously the trees have grown a lot since over the years since we were hanging around out here. Do you have a lot of memories up here? Mm -hmm. I have a lot of memories. Good and bad. So, but uh, there used to be a big bridge down there. there. We used to cross the river and all, but obviously I think the hedges have grew over it now. Or is that wee bridge thing still down there? I don't know, there's one over there. But I don't know about over there now. Because you used to be able to cross to go into certain parts of Ashbury. I don't know. But yeah, I'll give you another look here. It is lovely. And peaceful. And we're just sitting here. Doing our distancing. <laughs> don't touch me! <laughs> so, Eat yes. your own wrap. I know you my own wrap. I love these. I know that you're probably thinking to yourself, God, they're only from Poundland, but they're actually really, really nice. So they are. And tonight, I did say yesterday, yesterday did I tell in the vlog yesterday we had a salad? And I want to make it again tonight. Because it was lovely. So it was, it was beautiful. And I want to show you guys it today in the vlog at some point whenever I make it, because it's... It's lovely. And anyway, I'm going to go here now and have my lunch, so I'll check in with you later on today at some point because we're going to sit here and have one hour we yarn about our good old days as kids, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. did, did you hear that? Listen. There's no kids. Birds. Can you hear that? Birds. Peace and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> it's just what it feels like to have no kids again. Yeah. I'm following that in, what, nearly 15 years? <laughs> No offense to Brooklyn Lewis, like, or your daughter too. Because mm -hmm. they're probably watching this vlog one. Who I see them? Mm -hmm. Right, I'm gonna get my lunch. See you later on. Right, we're on a move again. Where are we going now? Where are we going to? Right up around Ashby onto the Robinson Road and then down the carriageway. Yes, she's just saving. Silver birch she's saving the environment today. Keeping the environment clean by putting the stuff in the bin. She that was a lovely wee area there in there, wasn't it? I love right there, it's lovely. Must take your kids up there someday on a nice summer's day for a wee picnic or something. Be lovely. Uh, what is it? That's Now the weekend it's not with teenagers running up and down here. <laughs> right, we're on the move, so we're now heading around up to the bottom of this road down here, which is just down the bottom of this big lane. Did you say when you used to hang around here this all wasn't path? There was no path, it was just grass, rocks, darkness. Lovely. No lights, there's no lights around here now either. At so the bottom, I think at the bottom bit there is. Okay. Right, we're on the movie again, let's see where we're going to end up next. Oh, I'll just sign something good here. Look at this. The wee graffiti artist over there when she was 15. And it's still there all these years later. <laughs> uh, I wrote mine here, was it down in Newcastle? It's sitting here between Dundrum and Newcastle. My dad wrote it, engraved his name into a bridge that we put there one time. The bridge wasn't that long. I don't think it's still there as far as I know, so... But yeah, there you go, you little graffiti artist. Well, we were, what did you say, about 15? Yep. My God, it was a long time ago. Gee whiz, it's all changed right here. Look at all these hedges longer up now over this river. <sighs> Things you do when you're a child. Well, our travels has now brought us down to Vanny Home. We're now sitting here on the main wall. Having a wee set and wee stew and sweeties out of that bag. <laughs> Juice! Juice? Juice? So yes, we can take ourselves to Bally Home. There's a few people about, but obviously a lot of so there's a lot of social distancing going on down here, isn't there? Yeah. A lot of it. Babe, I think we should go on the sand. Do you want to? I know we shouldn't really be at the beach, but we are away from everybody. Yeah, we are. You know what I mean? Here! I was in the shop there, guys, and Sandra went into the wee shop to like to get something, maybe get a cup of coffee. And saw one of the local papers, it wasn't that local paper, was it what Daily Mail or something or whatever paper it was? One of the big tea, one of the big papers and it says on it apparently now one meter instead of two. It says that the, the chance of catching it now is like 85% not catching it now, 85% chance now not catching it. And or something like that. I briefly saw it anyway, I don't know. But it said one meter is enough. Is that what the title said? One meter is enough. I, I don't know. Really don't know. But guys, we're here at Betty Home. 
Obviously keeping our keeping our distance away from everybody. Stay away. Ah, uh, that's it. But here are some lovely boats though, isn't there? Some lovely boats. Where are we? There we go. And we thought that was one of the new Stenoline boats over there, but it's not. I just want to show it to Lewis there when we get home, but unfortunately it's not. So, yeah, it's a nice day. We're just going to sit out here for a little while. So, do you want to go on the sand for a walk? As long as we do plenty of social distancing. Hmm? As long as we stay away. If we keep it, that's the most important thing. It's, you know, it's up to yourself. You just want to get the sand on your toes. Yeah. Everyone's got to be careful because there's a lot of, like, families and stuff. Well, not a lot, but... Yeah, why not? Go down. As long as we social distance. I've got a question for you though. Yep. Spot of golf? <laughs> <laughs> We're now walking up past Bob Banger Golf Club. Didn't last very long at the beach. Like literally 20 minutes, half an hour at the most. Now we're walking up here. You were asking about the golf club being open. There's two guys just walking down towards the course there now with their bags, with their clubs in it. So we're now heading up towards home. A great walk today. Sandra's complaining because of the heat. So she is. So. Your wee feet? Because she has, God love her now, she has got a blister on her foot from her new sandals she bought a few weeks ago. So, her blister, you change your plaster again? Yeah. Yeah, not so. But anyway, we are cruising along here, the road beside the golf course. Some lovely houses down here, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Love on there. Some lovely houses down around here. But, uh, on route now to head home because we are getting a wee bit tired now after all this walk. I think our feet are actually killing us. What do you reckon? My feet are sore. <laughs> <laughs> from a test. From, from, from a distance. <laughs> Please rub my feet. No chance. Or rub my feet. From a distance. She's not my. I'm just on the wee line in here, guy. What are you doing over there? <laughs> Singing songs. Yeah. We're not in. Where are we? I don't know. In the middle of some green. We're on a green field near the college. Uh, we're not too far from where we're going now, which is home. Um, is your feet sore right now? I'm not too bad, I'm only up here. No, my feet are Oh, that's better. I'm just... Uh, my blisters. Yeah, but there isn't as many people about here as what I thought. <laughs> this dog will stop for five minutes and have a wee. And we change the scenery and sit down. But there isn't as many people around now as what I thought there would have been. Did you see the foot you seen the photographs of yesterday of up in where was it again? Hollywood or Crawfordsburn or something like that? Over five hundred people at the beach. Crawfordsburn. And the mess that left was insane. But at least today where we've been, we haven't been near anybody. And there's no mess. There's no mess, exactly, there's no mess at all, which is good. But we're not heading back. Dinner in the garden tonight again. All good. I'm going to make that salad again, guys. I talked to you about yesterday. And I'm going to show it to you in the vlog before I end it today. Because it is so good. It oh, It's a really good feed. So it is. But anyway, I'm going to go. So no more scenery in today's vlog. I'm done with that now. I'll see you back at the house later on whenever it's dinner time. Because we're hungry. And she's crying of a sore foot. Man, my feet's sore. Man. Hold on, do you have a big sticker or something here? I could give you a foot rub from a distance. <laughs> sure to go, hello! Uh, I'm just going to soak them. It looks really Maybe sore. Where do you hear this? Where are socks? With sandals! <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, freak! Did you ever come out with me with socks and sandals on? <laughs> you freak! Do you know I actually done it one time on holiday, like no. two years ago, for the Brooklyn Lewis? Just, where were we? I think it was the day. Where <laughs> was it? In the, no. Way. I think it was in Blackpool or something. And I done it for a laugh, just for a joke. And Brooke and Lewis were like, "No, and I'm more Lewis. It was more Brooke. Dad, seriously. No. Do you know the fashion? It's no. like black trousers and white socks. <laughs> Why does everybody? Here's a question. Why does everybody automatically think with black trousers and white socks, Michael Jackson? It is. 
is. With the wee slip on plim full yeah. shoes. <laughs> Did he make it famous or something? Yeah. I don't know. But yes, sandals and socks. No. To no. No to sandals and socks. Should I wear sandals and socks? Just oh, to just frig. just to annoy her next time I see her? No. I think I should. You'd be walking alone. I always walk alone. And you'll never well they never walk alone actually. So I'll be walking alone. Try to get Lewis to walk beside me. I need a big, big cup walking of coffee. Walking down the Anfield Road. What? A big, big cup of coffee. Alright. Just shopped in the street this there. Juice isn't hitting the spot. Today's blood is brought to you by Lucas Aid Sport and Oasis. And Oasis. Alright. No ways. Right, we're going home. So, yes, should I wear sandals and socks to pee her off? Oh, well, yeah, babe. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> I had to peep that out now. Whoopsie. PG. <laughs> and not the tea bags. <laughs> dear, oh dear. <sighs> Guys, I, before, one thing I do, go before, if you haven't watched the vlog yet, where her, whenever me and Sandra went to Liverpool, watch them back from last December. They're public again on the channel, where she's standing on the boat on the way home that day. Yes, and, and, the, <laughs> and, and the, what do you call it, the bird was coming at me, she thought it was attacking me, and she just turned around and goes, Get out of my way. It's just so funny. She puts on a strong Belfast accent and it makes me laugh. So please check out those videos. They are funny. Especially whenever we go to the, the I call it the paw shop. And she's like, it's designer, darling. Alright, let's go, big lad. Where are we going now? Walking again? Right, I'm on my way, guys. I'm on my travels again. I'll see you back at the house later on whenever we get our lovely salad in the back garden before this coin goes home. She's going home, she's going home, big Sandra, she is going home. I'm <laughs> <laughs> getting knocked out for you. I am, when I get knocked out, we'll see you later on. We're home, and it's now time for dinner. I'm going to see this dinner like I did tell you. I had this yesterday, and we're having it again today. It contains salad, dressing, carrots, pasta, chicken, what else is in it? All the Arby vegetable things in that salad too as well. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. You should try it. And a week later, a barbecue sauce. So here it is here. What a feed. <laughs> I don't even eat it all like, but it's good. And you have all your carrots in there and your vegetables in there. You've got your salad, your chicken, which is often cooked by the way, not fried or anything. But it makes it nice and dry and fresh. And then obviously your pasta and your slightly sweet barbecue sauce and pot, which is beautiful. So there we are. Now I want to go and enjoy this. So, probably the hear I'm talking to you. Oh, look at this. Oh my god, it's so good, isn't it? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, anyway, I've enjoyed this vlog today. Our McDonald's reopened. We saw the craziness there. Myself and the crazy lady over there. <laughs> How's your food, by the way? Lovely now. I've my shoes off. We're not walking anymore. So we're here now, having our social distance and dinner. Holy. <laughs> so, if you enjoyed this vlog today, guys, drop a like on it, don't forget to subscribe below. Tomorrow I'll see you at some point. Um, hopefully. We'll log on tomorrow morning, but I'll see you tomorrow at some point. I'm gonna go enjoy this here. So until tomorrow, hope we've all had a good day, we've had a great day. See you so soon. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>